everybody welcome back to another video here at the Ayers Aviation Hangar. Today we're going to be talking about the electrical system and some of the components involved to kind of how they work. It's a really simple system once you kind of have a really basic understanding of how it all works and everything. So let's just jump right to it but first don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, the more you help me out the more my information gets out to the aviation public and uh, more knowledgeable everyone is the safer everybody is uh, and the safer the skies are so uh, don't forget to like and subscribe appreciate that so electrical system all starts with this big dude right here the battery it uh, it houses all of our electrical uh, voltage the problem with the battery is it weighs so much like this battery I think is 35 pounds so that that takes up a lot of weight in the aircraft and everything so um, so all of our battery powered stored here when you turn the master switch on on the instrument panel it activates a relay and will send electricity from the battery throughout the whole airframe the problem is is the battery at with the electrical system off it's only has about 12 and a half uh, volts stored and our system operates when the engine is running it operates at a constant voltage at around 14 volts okay so you start the airplane up you know you turn the mesh switch on you look at your voltage indicator it's showing about 12 and a half volts that's normal okay when you start the engine up then all of a sudden the voltage will jump up to 14 volts why is that okay well we have systems like this old generator or an alternator and what they do is they stick in the back of the accessory case of the engine and there's a gear that goes on here and when the engine's turning it's turning your alternator or your generator and that's supplying more power to the overall um, electrical system on the airplane okay now what we want to do is we want it to our radios lights everything operating off the electrical system is operating off a constant 14 volts we don't want it going to 16 and over volting or dropping down to 12 and under volting. Uh, so the way that we regulate that is with a regulator. So the job of a regulator is to tell the generator or the alternator to put out more power or less power and it's constantly trying to keep it at a perfect 14 volts. Okay. So let's say that we start the airplane up, we get it going, it's reading 14 volts. Well when I start throwing on lights and radios that's consuming more power from the battery and the overall electrical system so that'll tend to drop voltage and when that happens this dude the regulator tells your alternator generator to bump up more voltage to keep everything at a constant rate right at 14 okay so that's how the system works what's some issues with uh, some things that might go wrong well most common is your alternator or generator will go out. So sometimes we'll have a warning light that illuminate on the cockpit. Pilots are dumb though, you know, we could have all the gauges and lights in the world and sometimes they're just looking past it. You know, they're just like, oh, there's a big buzzer going on in the in the airplane or there's five lights on. Oh, I haven't noticed them, they've been on for the past hour. So, you know, we try to have warning signs like that, but it's up to a pilot to always be scanning their instruments, all, always double checking not only your electrical system but you know fuel pressures oil pressures oil temperatures all your gauges and everything so but if a light comes on where your voltage drops below 14 volts then that's the indication that this alternator or generator has gone out okay when that happens then you only have what electricity is left in this battery so most of our radios i believe they only operate down to like 10 volts and after that they just quit working so you might have radios quit working, lights quit working. If you have like the Bonanza electric driven uh, landing gear or electric flaps, then you're going to lose those if the voltage goes down. So if you do have an indication and you realize that you've lost your alternator or generator, turn off any kind of unnecessary items like radios, lights, and that stuff. I personally have had uh, a time where I was coming back from southeast Texas at night in the Bonanza. We're rounding. We're outside of the Bravo airspace, and our generator, alternator, wherever we had the time, we switched it um, since then to an alternator, but it went out. So I knew, okay, I need to conserve electricity. I'm going to start turning off radios and lights, and I just flew 
literally with just an instrument light on the instrument panel uh, to get me back to the airport because I knew once I got in the pattern I'd have to throw down the landing gear which runs off electricity so I'm taking I was conserving electricity in the battery for when I needed it for landing gear so I got that down verified all three green lights were lit and then it's like okay what's another thing I need well I need a landing light okay so I waited till I was on final turned the landing light on it was able to land uh, no problem but I was uh, thinking ahead of the situation and everything so uh, but I've had people that have been flying and next thing you know their radios are going out their lights are going out and at that point they realize that they lost their alternator or generator went out so you never want to reach that point of the system and everything so um, and then of course the, the last little piece of the electrical system are these circuit breakers so if I'm running a light, and this is a common, this is probably the most common issue I've ever had, you know, flying airplanes, is with the old style lights that for some reason there's an issue with the bulb and it pops the circuit breaker, okay? So what happens is instead of something kind of tripping and heating the wire up or burning the wire, it'll heat this up and this thing will pop and fail first before any kind of wire catches on fire, okay? So always be looking for circuit breakers to see if they're popped if some item isn't working like a light or a radio or something like that now worst case scenario is you start smelling smoke in the cockpit so what do you do uh turn the master switch off immediately so if there's something on catching on fire or getting hot like a electrical wire or something you don't know where it's coming from it could be coming from a light coming from radio it could just be a bare wire that doesn't you know just runs kind of randomly through the instrument panel turn the master switch off that kills all electricity and it only the only electricity in the whole aircraft is just based where the aircraft battery is okay a uh, uh, buddy and i we personally had an um, issue with his system one time we were flying to go on a fishing trip and all of a sudden we started smell something so we turned the master switch off we're like okay smoke or the smell went away it wasn't bad it's was just definitely you could smell it so i said okay let's turn all the lights all the radios off let's turn it back on and if we smell it again, we're just going to turn it off and we're going to continue on and land and we'll diagnose the problem on the ground. So we turn the master switch on, didn't smell anything. Okay, so now what are we going to do? So let's try a radio. So we turned the radio on and everything was fine. In the meantime, we had, you know, checked all the circuit breakers, nothing had popped. Turn another radio on. Okay, then we turn transponder on. Then we turn on all the lights and everything and everything was fine. So what happened was... Uh, he had an old cigarette lighter and there wasn't a circuit breaker um, installed in the series and they just had like some automotive fuse that was wired in back behind the instrument panel which isn't legal so we tore all that stuff out replaced it with the pro proper stuff but that's just the kind of proper way that you want to troubleshoot everything and if this goes out like I was telling in the in the just a second ago that you want to consume your battery power for what's needed down the road for landing and whatnot. Just because you have an engine or a, a alternator or generator fail doesn't mean oh my God there's a light on I'm losing voltage I need to go land it in a field. No man you could go ahead and fly you know for several hours if you had to just turn everything off. What you really want to do, which I found with flying in our Cub before, we had a generator uh, light, indication light come on. You want to go ahead and, and land at the nearest airport that you can. What's common with these old style generators is the bearings in there start going out. And once the bearings start going out, then you have, and things start getting hot, you run the risk of stuff, you know, locking up. And this is engine driven, so this is just a big metal gear that mounts on here that sticks in the back of the engine. So you definitely don't want that season up in your engine that could cause some major problems and stuff. So it's a real simple system. You got the battery, alternator generator, and you got the regulate, re, excuse me, regulator that regulates your constant voltage. And you have other items in there such as circuit breakers to kind of help protect you in case anything, you know, does start to, um, you know, kind of arc or, um, you know, try to heat up a wire or something like that. So anyway, 
Hope this video helps. It'll definitely help you on your check ride when the examiner is quizzing you. How does the electrical system work? It'll help you on your written, and it'll just help you with your everyday flying and stuff. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching all the videos. If there's any other videos that you want me to do, just uh, shoot me a comment down below this video, and I'll try to get that out for you guys. So appreciate it. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching.